Hey, what's up guys? I wanted to share with you guys something real cool and this was the actual defining moment that changed my whole life and made me want to uh, face my fears. Okay, so this actually happened at, uh, at church. Okay, so this is interesting. I've heard the story about David and Goliath a lot of times, but you know, my eyes really opened up. Um, been doing Warehouse for five years and I've been doing it consistently. Um, at times for months at a time and uh, I just felt like I really wanted to go full-time in this personal training thing I've been doing it part-time since 2012 there were moments where I went full-time but um, never really went a hundred percent so I hope you guys can relate with this and I hope you guys could really get uh, a good message out of this so in the story when the pastor was talking about David and Goliath um, for some people who don't know the Bible as well, I'm going to kind of explain a little bit deeper. So David was a shepherd. He took care of sheep, and he was the youngest out of all his brothers. He had really big brothers, but he was really small. So there was a war about to happen, and uh, Saul, that was the king, and um, he was bringing his army out, and they had the other army come out, and they were going head to head, but they weren't fighting. They just got their biggest man, which was Goliath. And then they said, I want you to bring your best fighter out and I will fight your best fighter. So days went on and this and this giant, this Goliath, every single day was just mocking them. You wussy. You bring out your guys. You're a wussy. You guys are scared. You know, bring out your best guy. And every single day he would just mock them. Every single day. And then every single day they'd be in fear and no one would step up because this giant, this Goliath, this guy was huge. This guy was big. He's killed a lot of people. And it was just, it seemed like something that was going to be an impossible task. During the midst of all this, uh, David was um, being anointed king. And not a lot of people know this because Saul did not want to um, honor uh, God. He didn't want to honor him. And he didn't want to admit that God was the one that put him in that position. So, um, they were already predicting that there was going to be a new king. Okay, So that's not the most important part. The most important part is that David wanted to be in, in this war. He's like, come on, I want to be in this war. And they're like, no, you're too young. Take care of the sheep. Stay home. You know, do your thing. But David knew in his heart that there was something bigger for him. He knew that there was something in his life that he was meant to be. Something even deeper than shepherding his sheep. David has killed lions with his staff. It says that in the Bible. So he was not scared of any giant. And he didn't know too much about what's happening in the war. But one day his dad told him, take some food to your brothers. Okay. And it was really boiling down. The war was right about to start. Whether there, whether there was going to be one on one or, or a whole army versus a whole army. So David goes out there. And this is what he sees. He sees a huge army here. A huge army here and a huge space in the middle just for two people to battle and he hears this giant mocking the whole army and David's like I'll fight him and everyone's like oh you're too small you're crazy you're gonna get yourself killed go back home take care of the sheep and it's like he was dead serious like I will fight this guy I am not scared of this guy I had fought lines in my life and then Saul said hey you know this is the only guy that's volunteering you know, let's just put on some armor on him. Let's put on a, uh, give him a sword and everything. So he got everything. He got a huge shield. He's got breastplate. He's got giant sword. And he was, um, he was weighed down by it. He was too small. He couldn't fight with all this heavy weight. So they took that off of him. Okay. And I'm about to tell you why this relates to me. They took that off of him. And he went out there without any weapon, nothing crazy. He had his slingshot. He went down to the middle and they said, this is the guy you guys want me to fight? You guys are mocking me? Are you guys serious? <laughs> and and he was dead serious. So he went down there and David got his sling. First shot, first kill, right in the middle of the temple, knocked him out. And the other army ran. And the reason why they ran was because the loser had to be the slaves. So. They just ran for their lives and David killed the guy. And I realized every single day, and here's, here's what I was trying to get to guys. 
Every single day we have our fears mocking us. You can't do this. You're too weak. You're not strong enough. You're not gifted enough. You're not worthy. But that's the lie that our fear tells us every day. And when I realize that I quit my job on a Sunday, working at the warehouse. Monday I applied to uh, Next Level. You guys might know from Facebook, Next Level. Applied to that gym and got hired that very day. Quit my job Sunday, got hired Monday. Now God has got, got me um, working in a different uh, area from Next Level. I'm not working at Next Level no more. But at that time, he wanted he wanted me to go for it full time, and that's what changed my life, guys. We have our we have our demons, we have our giants, laughing at us, mocking us. You'll never lose weight. You'll never get stronger. You'll never win the competition. You'll never get back into your sport. You'll never you'll never reach elite fitness. But that's where we got to stand up immediately and face our face our giant hope you guys like the message guys um you guys have a great night uh and god bless